Let's go. Dude, Stacy. Has... Look, look how close we are. Oh, yeah. We're right there. Oh, yeah. Dude, we've got a better spot for Stacy and I. It's gonna be epic. Get ready for some small footage. I probably won't post much. Huh? Everybody in Discord is telling me to actually go on stage with B2B. If they do that dance thing again. I don't know. I, I kind of want to, but they won't pick me. I know that. Huh? Not with that attitude. Okay, alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Freaking come on. Alright, well, anyways, I'll be recording a few things here and there. Might not be everything, but because I just want to enjoy kind of like the first, first day. But yeah, let's enjoy. Let's go. So hype. Coming out. Hello.
I'm gonna watch so bad live, bro.
I'm not filming this one, I'm dancing bro. I'm dancing this one, I don't okay. care. Yeah, we gotta dance around. I'm dancing ASAP bro. Alright, All right, bye guys. guys. What did we think? Amazing. Amazing. KCON. Incredible. Both days. Just hype as hell. Hype as heck, bro. I love uh, it. Not gonna lie, uh, when CC performed, I almost passed out. No, you and I were losing. Because, yeah. I, bro, I was like singing so loud and yeah. I didn't want to miss a beat. So I was like running out of air and I <laughs> started to sing black. I was like, yo, I need to just chill, take a deep breath, and keep singing. But, bro, we were losing it. Like, their, their energy had me dying. Yo, and they were right in front of us. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, 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 right there. We can see him like walking. Yeah, video Dude, proof. we've got video proof. You're gonna, you guys are gonna we see. I don't know how receipts. much. Yeah, we have the receipts. Yeah, I don't know how much you guys are gonna see. Uh, cause I didn't, I didn't record much. I wanted to enjoy myself. You gotta, know, gotta you have live to live in the moment, bro, and jump and everything. Oh, yeah. I don't want to say stay about, yeah, bro. The energy was absolutely wild. The energy was insane. It was, bro. It, it got hot. It was. It, yeah, yeah. I was, I was in like short sleeves, yeah. and it still got hot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah it, it was insane. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, that's it. Both days, KCON, amazing. Casey, what do you gotta say, bro? Amazing. I mean, that's just, I, that's just I'm just kidding. No, but we're lost for words, seriously. It was amazing, right? And uh, yeah, we just saw uh, Stacy. Saw him hop in, saw him hop in their, their transport. You're gonna see, dude, that's the closest I've ever been to Stacy. You literally looked at me, see, same yeah, did a freaking yeah, heart. She the, she completed her heart. heart. Insane. I I what mean. What more do you need? What yeah, right. Need? Life is complete. Life is My swift life is over now. <laughs> well, but it's not know, over. I don't know. But no, no. Wait, that's not wrong. Hold up. It's not. But you know, like, 
complete. It's, it's complete. complete. There you go. It's complete. I've ticked everything I needed. See Stacy Lion. Yeah. See them up close. Have like freaking uh, do a heart. I know it was like out of distance, yeah, but yeah, yeah. listen, I'll take what they I can get. They were looking straight at us, and yeah, dude, no, seriously. And not to mention the other groups. I'm talking about Stacy because Stacy are my alt, but everyone like. T O T O one, like they. Oh my God, bro, they popped off. bro. B two B is just like you can tell how veteran status they are. Like, oh, dude, in, they own that stage. Moves. Like, oh. like legitimately, like actually seeing B two B live, it's just a completely different world because they're yeah, so yeah. like chill, like. Oh. And, then, and then like them in MCing with like all the oh. other groups, their interactions with yeah. the other groups, like they're just so pro. Yeah. They're oh so yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, seriously. As a big, as a big melody that completed again another checklist of mine, um, and yeah, no, and like Gravity and TO, I knew about them. I've listened to their songs, but never really followed. But after watching those stages, bro, <laughs> they, they I'm a fan off. now. Like I'm a Lovety and what, what's the the fandom name for TO? A TR one, sorry now. But yeah, dude, it was insane. Um, Oh man, I'm going again. Like KCON is a Oh, KCON LA? Catch us there. Dude, catch us there. Psh, psh, they oh, said, yeah. are we going to be there? Bro, we freaking screamed. Heck yes, bro. Oh, we're going. But yeah, anyways, as you can see, my voice is gone. I'm probably going to stop my vlog here. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to do an, a vlog like on our way back home. Uh, so I, I guess I'll just end it off here. Uh, I might get editing Joe to say a little few more words once he gets his mind back uh, but for now vlogging Joe is out peace you want to say oh nice <laughs> thank you for that vlogger Joe I appreciate that and um, yeah I mean you basically said everything uh, that had to be said the energy was insane the crowd Although, with that being said, I after watching and listening uh, to the footage that I got, um, it doesn't do anywhere near justice uh, for like what the crowd was like. Because you can you basically just hear me screaming the whole time. Because my camera or my uh, my phone's microphone is just that good that it's like yeah i'm gonna mute everything else i'll just listen to what you have to say sir um <laughs> uh because yeah i wasn't the only one screaming like that the rest everybody everybody around me uh were screaming basically exactly the way i was so i'm not the only crazy person there okay guys all right um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was absolutely insane. I mean, as you could see, we also got to, um, to, to, uh, to see Stacy leave. Uh, I only, we only stayed for Stacy at that point. Cause I mean, we were in the front and there was actually some really sharp people behind us. Um, that couldn't really see well. So once Stacy left, uh, I decided, you know, we, we we should leave and leave the space for for them. Um, I only realized after, but yeah. So I only recorded Stacy on day two, them leaving. But on day one, I managed to get gravity. And mix and handshake. I even got some interactions from the member, which was absolutely insane. Um, I know it's like simple, and you know, like you know, these idols—they're they're normal people, right? They're just—they're doing their job, and they love the job. And I don't know. It's people that you admire. So the fact that they look at you. And they just interact with you feels special um, so yeah that 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 was that is a, a story to tell I feel like I know it's far all right like the interactions we got were far but listen the intention was there they completed the heart 
That's all I need. Hyunshik waved at me. I was like the only one waving <laughs> at that point. And Hyunshik looks at me and is like, yo. I was like, yo. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, I honestly have nothing else to just add. I mean, apart from, you know, saying that uh, obviously we went there for KCON, but it was also my first time in Chicago. Uh, it's my first time in that area of the Americas, to be honest. I've never been that far west before. Um, never mind just Chicago, so it was special. And I wanted to do uh, a few, you know, like rounds around Chicago. Get a bunch of um, Chicago-based foods, so like... Uh, the deep pan uh, pizzas. I had to try that, right? Like, if you're in Chicago, you have to try that. Um, so, we, we also did that. We actually accidentally ended up in a full Korean mall as well. We went there just to see a K-pop store. Uh, to buy some albums or just to look at it. Uh, but we didn't realize, like it said that it was inside of a mall, but we didn't realize that it was a full Korean mall. Like it had Korean beauty, Korean fashion stalls, uh, a Korean like um, op opticians, you know, for the eyes. <laughs> like, like it was, they had everything, like a food court and um, the market everything so that was like a pleasant surprise so we ended up getting some um, Korean snacks some soju some mogoli I tried mogoli for the first time probably not the best idea to get it from a bottle because I mean it tasted a little bit weird um, and we don't know if it was like an old bottle or not <laughs> so uh, but I actually did not mind it everybody else didn't though they disliked it so I had a full bottle to myself <laughs> And I drank drank it all, um, but yeah. So we did that. We had some uh, Kor Korean barbecue, first time for Orion, uh, and first time like a proper barbecue for um for Casey too. So that was nice. Um, I know it's not Chicago type based, but I mean it's something we did, and it's something we wanted to do as a as a group of friends. Um, and uh, what else did we do? Oh, we went to Portillo's. We had to go to Portillo's, right? The hot dogs over there are crazy good. Unhealthily good, alright? For the price that they are, it's kind of scary. Imagine living there. We, we were saying that. Like, imagine if we lived here. We would be going to Portillo's way too often. Because... <laughs> Uh, the, their their hot dogs are amazing and they're like two dollars or something like that which kind of crazy uh, for the amount that you get um, so we did that uh, what else did we do oh shout out to GB and Mari from the hotel we kind of randomly bumped into each other and uh, in, in the hotel and Actually, yeah, we bumped into each other. Then we went in our hotels, uh, or, or in our rooms, and um, and then they knock at our door and they're like, "Hey, can't believe I got the right door on the first time." And they're like, "Yeah, so um, we're just hanging out in the lobby, kind of uh, lonely, listening to K-pop. Do you guys want to join?" So we said, "Yeah, sure," and uh, yep. Next thing I know, it was 7 a.m. <laughs> I had to leave. We had to leave early on that day. Because, um, I mean, uh, we had to be in Toronto at, at that time. Uh, not at that time, but early. Uh, because Kyra had a flight like at 5 or 6 a.m. Uh, so yeah, we had to get there and it's like an eight hour drive So yeah, probably not the best idea to get fully drunk <laughs> uh, A few hours before you have to leave For an eight hour drive But it was fun nonetheless, so uh, Shout out to GB 
Mari if you're watching. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that was about the whole uh, journey. And I mean, you, you watch the rest in these vlogs, so I don't need to say anything else about that. Um, but yeah, it was just overall an absolute amazing experience. And the one thing I'm not going to get over is the crowd interaction. Uh, actually, like, with that being said, like, I do want to add that even though it was absolutely amazing, we were, like, super high, super high energy, there was a part of that that was just really emotional because when you think about it, apart from B2B, every other group we just witnessed was the, probably their first time in front of a crowd. And it's like the first time outside of Korea. Like, so hearing that crowd just go absolute nuts for all of the groups was kind of overwhelmingly, uh, like it, it was heartwarming to see. And you could feel, you could feel it like when the idols like were talking. Um, you could tell that they, they really enjoyed it and it was just all in all really an emotional the emotions were hidden throughout the hype but it was there like you could tell it was there um, and yeah and like we were saying having B2B there as well like gu kind of like guiding them as well because I mean B2B are veterans right they've been going on for years so of course they I mean they've performed many many times before and you could tell you could tell you could tell that they performed a lot because they just felt so easy on that stage it was incredible like B2B even though they were the only groups that threw out ballads all the other groups just were like non-stop hype it's still an amazing stage and I never ever thought in my life I would see B2B live and actually hear them because that is a sight to behold just being able to hear them live is to die for because uh, YouTube doesn't make them justice I'm just gonna say that right now their voices on YouTube or on any video it does not make them justice. Live is a thousand times better. Seriously. But yeah, anyways. I'm looking at the time. I don't want to make this vlog too long either. So I'm going to end it here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little series. The KCON Chicago series. Don't worry, my vlogs are not over. I've got another one planned very soon. At the end of June. I'm going to be going... Uh, I'll be going to see uh, Dreamcatcher live in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. So that's going to be fun. Again, another place in the US I haven't been. I swear, I feel like this year I'm literally just doing a US tour. <laughs> going to a bunch of different cities that I've never been to. Um, even like states. Um, so, yeah. Keep a lookout for that. But for this particular one, it, it will be the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Annyeong.